If you haven't seen Cars and Water's channel, it's pretty cool and it's pretty random. He basically heats up a nickel ball white hot and puts it on different objects, and he also messes around with liquid nitrogen. But a lot of his viewers have asked him to put the red hot nickel ball in mercury. He doesn't have any mercury, I do, and I asked him if I could do this for him. So Matt gave me his blessing, so here we go. In order to do this, I had to purchase a Pyrex flask on eBay, and we're pouring five pounds of mercury in it right now, which is 2.2 kilos. I'm using the largest ball bearing instead of a nickel ball that'll fit into the flask. And I'm using MAP gas to heat it to orange hot. In order to do this, I had to contain the mercury gases, and that's done by venting it through a activated charcoal filter. Mercury is a very good conductor of heat, and as you can see, the transfer of heat from the ball bearing into the mercury was rather quick. And of course the density of mercury is so high that the steel ball bearing simply floats on the surface. As you can see there was enough transfer of heat to cause the mercury in the flask to boil to some extent. If you enjoy random stuff like this, then you'll probably really enjoy Cars and Water's channel. You either get it or you just don't. So if you're one of those people that have to ask, What's the point? You're probably better off just moving on and not subscribing. <laughs> Mercury is an amazing element, and I have a huge playlist just on this subject. Since many viewers are not really into the other videos that I post, like gun videos and stuff like that, they'll often just save the Mercury playlist in their internet browser and watch all the Mercury videos at their own leisure. Many of these ideas come from the creativity and imagination of viewers just like you. But bear in mind that it all has to be contained and it all has to be done safely. So no, we cannot shoot Mercury out of a gun. <laughs>